This is the Riverhawk Report, a weekend recap for Monday, December 14th, 2009. UMass Lowell Athletics has arrived at the midseason break for final exams and the holidays with more positives than negatives, but it is the negatives that will drive you crazy. Hockey and indoor track and field were in action during the weekend, and as often is the case, it was a mixed bag. Now the details. We start on the ice. The UMass Lowell Hockey Riverhawks played well, turned in a strong performance. The team peppered the Princeton net with rubber, but they left the ice frustrated. A 3-2 loss. Yeah, we got to capitalize on our opportunities. I mean, there's, I, I don't know how else to say it. I mean, we have we could score six goals tonight without question, and we need those guys to capitalize on their chances. You look at their team, they're very opportunistic on their chances, and we uh, we really struggle scoring goals sometimes. Vance head coach Blaze McDonald. The team was just unable to take advantage of the opportunities that were presented. The Riverhawks put 47 shots on goal, including 21 in the final period. Plenty of opportunities to win this game without question. You know, in the second period, we have a breakaway, hit the post, Val's got a backdoor layup, and the puck, puck bumble, you know, fumbles on him. He had a million chances in the third period. I could see why this kid was the uh, player of the year in the ECAC last year. He kept him in the game. He made a lot of big saves. In retrospect, the game may have been decided early in the first period. The visitors scored twice, 10 seconds apart, and the Riverhawks were playing catch-up the rest of the night. UMass Lowell did get goals from freshman Riley Wetmore and senior Corey Felice but unfortunately, it was not enough. Peterson with a shot. Save was made. Rebound champ at the corner and finally batted in. The goal will be Eric Milland and it is 1-0 Princeton. They didn't do in the previous four. Let's get a second. And they do. Shot by Milland. Scores. You know, we let in uh, the first and second goal with just awful goals on us. Ten seconds apart. And it was a big hole for us to uh, dig ourselves out of. To Schaus now to Ickert on the left side. Ickert. Left face off circle. Ickert with a shot. Safe. Rebound. Wetmore shoots and scores! Riley Wetmore with the goal. And the River Hawks are on the board. Holmstrom with it. Sent it up the wall, but Laurie picked it off. Steps around, but toward the net. Shot. Score! Kevin Laurie, the goal. Got it back to Daner. Now across to Schaus, right side. Daner, left side. Fires. Scores! May have been deflected. Daner took the drive. The Hockey River Hawks head into the break with a 10, 6, and 1 record. UMass Lowell will be back on the ice January 2nd. Part of the Ledyard Bank Tournament hosted by Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. They will play Holy Cross. UMass Lowell track and field was in action during the weekend. Men and women took part in the Harvard Invitational. The events featured athletes from Divisions 1, 2, and 3 schools. Dante Brown came up big again. He won the 500-meter event in a time of 1 minute, 3 and 3 quarter seconds, more than 2 seconds faster than the rest of the field. Freshman Evan White finished second in the 200 meters. His time, 22-10, was the best among Division 2 or 3 runners. Corey Murray was fourth in the shot put, but again... Tops among Division II, three athletes. On the women's side, Jackie Barrett finished second with a throw of 43 feet 5 inches. That's in the shot put. The toss, the best among Division II and three athletes. Also topping the Division II, three fields were sophomore Ashley Zielinski in the 60-meter dash and Sharon Cunningham in the 400-meter run. Track and field now gets a rest. They're back in action January 9th at the Dartmouth Relays. And that's the Riverhawk Report for Monday, December 14th, 2009.